Hello and welcome back to my channel. Secret Numbers back with another single. No album yet. I feel like I've been saying it now for a year and a half. This group is what? Almost three years? Like about to be three years? Probably two and a half years old and have no album yet. It's pretty crazy. Uh, we know we have some member changes. We've had all that. But still, I mean, give the girls an album for Christ's sake. I feel like we're not able to really get a grasp on them or anything unless we get some kind of cohesive full release but they have a new song i'm not gonna be too down here we got a new song we got another b-side uh doxa doxa is the name of it i looked up the meaning seems to be a greek word that meant like reputation to accept something like that and then has been translated over the meaning glory as well i didn't get really a complete uh really straightforward translation exactly it's probably a, a or that's maybe changed over over time. Um, but yeah, they've got a B-side. We might check that out in a separate upload afterwards. Let's get to it. This is secret number with Duxa. No, no captions. I, I did enjoy the last release, Tap. That was good. Doom Jita was okay. Oh, this is going to be a maybe a doom to that sitch. Oh, I love this styling on Dita. Tini is always an issue. Oh, okay. Love the pre-chorus. That's Minji? <laughs> Choreography is so cute. <laughs> she honestly is a visual visual of K-pop. Unbelievable. Sudam? Kind of like the brass. You know, this kind of feels like third gen girl crush. It feels like, feels like this could almost be like one of those like halfway girl crush CLC songs. Even one of these sets looks like one of CLC sets with the baby dolls and everything. Mm. Oh, she's off her rocker. Man, she, she, give them an album. She should be bigger. This is like the CLC set. Right here. Chorus is growing on me. I like the bits of falsetto that they add into the chorus. Is there supposed to be some kind of like split personality thing going on here because there's a lot of like symbolism with this mirror and this and the cracked mirror which is like the most like on your nose like used symbol of of like split personality or or maybe losing sanity in some ways and they use it a lot in this video I want this bass to be a little bit louder that you hear in the back. Man, she's really, like, prominent in this video. Mm. 
these bits of the falsetto that I really like. Choreography is cute. Right? It's her makeup too. It kind of makes her look crazy. I love it. All right. She looks great. I kind of like the brass in the song because it really reminds me a lot of, you know, their first, their, their debut was like heavy on the brass, right? This set also, I think Purple Kiss might have used this set as well. Um, okay. I mean, we love a horror, like, leaning concept. That's my shit. So I'm digging this. But what is with, I'm telling you, top tier visual that like if they actually had regular releases would be very 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 popular was this based around was it maybe based around her in this video i don't know it's a hard video to follow in terms of narrative uh the song i think is is good i don't love it i don't i mean it's very it's it's seven out of ten type song, you know you know what I mean. I think it's good. Uh, I like it. I think I like tap better, but I probably prefer this to Doom Chita. Um, let's check it out one more time. This box, first of all, wasn't this box in Doom Chita? Wasn't it in like the back of a car at some points? It looks very familiar. That I might have seen it from one of their other music videos. Noxious. We invite you, you. Oh, I never read this. I don't know. Sometimes like video plays and I just, my mind is somewhere else. When I was going up the stairs, I met a woman who wasn't there. She wasn't there again today. I wish I wish she would go away. I can hear. Mm, so is this maybe someone hearing voice voices or a different side of them? So I'm definitely getting a feeling of like a split personality type of thing. Adida always absolutely eats up center. Like, wow. And then the other new member is Chu? Chu, right? Yes, this is my favorite part of the song. French fries. We licking scissors? Mmm. Wow. <laughs> the shot of Leia with the... Whatever the green goo in the glass was. She has, something, she has such a soft face for being the oldest and the leader of this group now. Well, she was always the leader, right? For some reason, for some reason in my head, I have it that like Denise was, but she was the Magda. <laughs> she just had leader, you know, qualities. I mean, it's so crazy we've seen so little of her because she has one of my, like, favorite, like, rapping tones. You know, this song almost partially feels like it has a, a split personality kind of thing. I can't get a grasp on, like, the general tone. Why the babies? Why the worms in the cake?
my god, I wish this I wish that this like synth bass was was just more prominent, stronger. <laughs> I just want my K-pop songs to be a little bit darker when they do a dark concept. And that would that would help. Damn, she's kind of the highlight of this video. This song's really grown on me though. Catchy chorus. release we just need some momentum you know what i mean i think you can only do these single releases for so long before you you need to do something a bit a bit larger scale um but let's check out actually we're not going to do it in a separate upload let's just do the uh let's do the b-side right now why don't we it's called beautiful one let's do it Oh, are we going to get something slower? Have we heard a ballad from them? I can't remember. Hmm, I'm liking the atmosphere. Oh, we're getting sad ballad. Look at that jawline. What in the world? Ooh. Spacey thin. I, lo I love the the intro. I love the verse. The chorus was a little by the numbers um, uh, ballad, but the rest of it I really liked. Hartley fan song. These strings sound strange, don't they sound like oddly digital? She can sing too. Okay, man. Minji's showing up on these two songs. I mean, you are starting a little bit from behind right away because it's it's kind of hard to impress me with with the standard Korean ballad because they're all very very similar, and this one 
is kind of like that. We started out pretty good. I like the kind of spatial synth that they had going on there, the atmosphere. Um, I, I, the Korean Ballad just always has to have that same like rise and kind of tempo to it. If they just kind of maybe stayed very low key and didn't have that at all and kind of kept the sad vibe of, of the beginning, and you even just stay kind of almost even one dimensional in that way and I probably would have liked it a whole lot more. It is is super by the numbers, um, like every other ballad, but you know, it was, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, I, I think I haven't been super wowed by a lot of the B-sides in the last while since like early, like maybe like holiday um, from Secret Number, but I do like the title track. The title track is very catchy. Um, as I said, ad nauseum again, we need some momentum. Have another release within the next like three months, do something quick or or get get an, a mini album out. I think that just needs to happen. They do still they still do pretty solid numbers. Foxa has 1.7 right now in three days, so not not you know not too bad, but I just I think that that member switch up, I think all of that was pretty was pretty rough because they did have a big break there, and Denise really was I mean, wow. Like she was such a good vocalist. She was a very crucial part to this group, but I think the new members are really solid as well. But Denise was something, man. I mean, she was probably my favorite member and had my favorite vocals in this group. So it is a rough loss, but I think if you just keep the momentum and have some constant releases, releases with more songs, a more well-conceived, well-rounded concept, uh, and m more uniqueness. Like what makes Secret Number Secret Number exactly? What would you say? Because some of their title tracks that I see, I'm like, this is good, but what? how is this standing out from the pack, from the K-pop pack? It always feels like it's pulling a little bit from everything and it, it's doing things solidly, but what makes them them? I don't know. We haven't been able to find out because we haven't had a damn mini album. But thank you guys so much for watching this with me. All of this, of course, is constructive criticism. I am rooting for this group always. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this release, what you thought of the B-side, and what you think of maybe their future, how they're being maybe handled. This is Vine Entertainment, right? I believe they're under Vine Entertainment. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you are new. Check out my secret number playlist down below and over on Patreon. We've got a lot of extra content, live stages, album reactions, and variety shows. We have some secret number stuff on there, some live stages for the most part. Um, but yeah, join us on there if you are interested in extra content. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. <laughs>